PWM's ST40 cold pressure welding machine is designed specifically for welding non-ferrous strip. It is powered by an air hydraulic intensifier and operated by a foot pedal. The machine is supplied with a trolley so the operator can wheel it easily to the work area, saving effort and reducing downtime. The air supply can be provided from either a central system or a dedicated compressor, but must be connected using a reinforced hose with a minimum internal diameter of 12 mm and no quick connectors to ensure an adequate airflow. The hose should be attached to the inlet without any fittings that impede the flow of air. A concertina type air hose should not be used. The two ends of the material must be trimmed before welding to ensure they're completely straight using the guillotine on the front of the machine. The precision engineered die made by PWM's skilled technicians is loaded into the die pocket. The operator holds the die down against the spring ejector pins, then presses the foot pedal to keep the die in position, while the cover plates are slid across and the nuts are tightened. The die gap is adjusted to suit the size of the strip. The machine is now ready for use. The operator presses the levers either side of the welding head to open the gates and inserts the ends of the material into the die then positions the material within the guide roller grooves and engages the clamps. To weld the strip, the operator presses and releases the foot pedal repeatedly. Each depression of the pedal causes the material to be gripped and fed forward, pushing the two ends together. The surface impurities are forced out from the center in the form of a flash or burr. Once the weld operation is complete, the strip is released from the die and the flash is removed by hand. The weld is reliable, permanent, and stronger than the parent material.